Yes, of course. Uh, my name is Giovanni Marchegiani, and uh, I am a pancreatic surgeon at the University of Padua in Italy. Uh, I like to define myself rather than a pancreas surgeon um, as a pancreatologist, which means uh, someone with a focus specific on the pancreas. Mm -hmm. So everything that is about the diagnosis, the therapy, and also the research about the disease of this organ. So PCE uh, to me, it was uh, an amazing opportunity because I wanted more uh, for my patients, uh, for uh, my research and uh, bottom line, the level of, uh, of um, of evidence that we have um, regarding the therapeutic strategies for a pancreatic disease. Uh, we need to gather forces, we need to join networks, we need to think globally if mm -hmm. we really want to make step forwards and to implement you know, the weapons that we have now to fight back particularly pancreatic cancer. So I think PCE is the way to go in this regard. Uh, well, I just started, so I'm kind of kind of new. Um, what I can say so far is that I can see a lot of enthusiasm. I I can see that there is um a lot of experts uh joining uh, PCE, and also what I like is the way you let us interact. So the brainstorming, but also how the how PCE is pragmatic, you know, on on the campaigns. For example, what has been done. Uh, in the in November for the uh, pancreatic cancer um, awareness month, so I think it's a good mixture between uh, br br groundbreaking idea, but also you know the, the the way to try to translate them in in research and in the clinical practice. Ah, well, that's a great question, actually. I'll try to, um, well, not uh, use the next uh, five hours to, to answer to this. No, I'm kidding. So um, I think that the, uh, the main challenge right now is um, early diagnosis. So we, we know that we are, by definition, too late. So um, screening individuals at risk, um, having new tests more reliable, but, uh, for example, being able to uh, detect pancreatic cancer in its earlier forms, I think mm -hmm. this is the big thing that we have to invest on uh, even more than uh, new chemotherapies. Of course, it's important. Uh, new surgical um, strategies, of course, it's important. But early diagnosis is the key. And in this, um, well, in this setting, uh, the research uh, on new biomarkers on genetic testing will play a major role, I think, in the next future, uh, together with um, AI, artificial mm -hmm. intelligence, and uh, radiomics. I think by integrating these tools that are not really the future, I think they're already the present in some areas, is going to uh, play a major role uh, on this. So the difference here comes by attracting, I think, um, well, first of all, uh, investment for the research. I mean, this is absolutely uh, key. Uh, PCE is working in this direction. Uh, we need to talk to the institutions. We need to talk to um, the European Parliament because we need to put pancreatic cancer on the spotlight, which is something not been done in the past. We know we sometimes refer uh, to pancreatic cancer as an unmet need uh, mm -hmm. in, in Europe. Uh, we, we know it's there. We know it plays a major role, but still we don't see this really translated in terms of how much money we can put on research, which is the only way to provide better care uh, to, to our patients. So PCE is working in this direction and can uh, definitely uh, play a, a major role in these interactions among scientists, clinicians, uh, but also amongst patients, you know, patient representatives, and eventually being a bridge to then bring this to a political level 
which we all know is absolutely key for the success of this aim. I well, I I, I very much um, look forward to these new tools uh, in defining uh, uh, precursor lesion of pancreatic cancer. I think this is one of the hottest hottest topic uh, right now. Uh, we were mentioning before, you know, AI, radiomics, biomarker. I mean, we know that there are uh, some uh, pancreatic cancer arising on uh, precursor lesions, such as uh, pancreatic cystic uh, neoplasm. Uh, mm -hmm. They were thought to be uh, rare in the general population. But now we know that the more we scan healthy individuals, the more we find these lesions. And it turns out, luckily, that most of these entities are not and will never be pancreatic cancer, but some they will. And mm -hmm. uh, this offers us today in 2023, mm -hmm. the unique opportunity for early diagnosis, but also for early treatment of the those requiring an intervention. And I think that the next big thing in early diagnosis of pancreatic cancer is to correctly address therapeutical um, opportunities to these individuals on one side, but mm -hmm. also sparing unnecessary surgery and even diagnostic on all those lesions that will never develop a pancreatic cancer. Uh, this is relevant. It's relevant for the patients, first mm -hmm. of all, but it's also very relevant for the healthcare systems because what we've been doing right now is not really sustainable by keep following up thousands and thousands of individuals for lesions that luckily will never progress to, to cancer. Yeah, UP is, is, is an acronym for Young Pancreatologist in Europe. It's, it's a program uh, who, which was started by Marco Del Chiaro, who is a professor of, of surgery now in Colorado, United States. And uh, it basically works as a platform for young pancreatologists. Uh, the aim is to make them connect, make them interact, uh, being able to provide uh, information and networking opportunities 365 days a, a year. And uh, it acts uh, under the umbrella of the European Pancreatic Club as a sort of a young talent group. It provides granting opportunity. And once again, the chance for uh, trainees and young researchers to, uh, well, to show their research, but also to find other colleagues uh, sharing the same interest. We know that now we have uh, incredible opportunities to uh, networking, to connecting, and we, we want to use these weapons. So mm -hmm. we want to use uh, social media in the right way. We want to uh, provide uh, evidence for free uh, for our pancreas community. So UP goes in this direction, and you're now giving me the opportunity to remind uh, everyone that we are present on all the main social network with a lot of opportunities. And the cool thing is that everyone could be a protagonist of this um, of this network just by showing up and uh, uh, you know posting uh, her or his interest. So join us, you know, after listening to this interview. Yes, uh, a very, I would say, simple one, which is uh, we are here for you. And I, I, I always have in my, on my lab code the, the, the ribbon here, the purple ribbon for uh, the fight against pancreatic cancer. We truly believe in uh, better care. We do it for you, but we do it also for us because we are all potentially patients for this disease. And uh, the research is really now making a difference. For many decades, this was not the case, but also thanks to initiatives like PCE, Pancreatic Cancer Europe, we are already making a difference. So we are here, we won't leave you, uh, and uh, the future will, will provide us better care for all those you know, requiring uh, you know, our, our cure for pancreatic cancer.